and know that you're communicating. You know, performance is communicating. You got to communicate. If you got a song you're singing from your gut, you want that audience to feel it in their gut. And you got to make them think that you're one of them sitting out there with them, too. They got to be able to relate to what you're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. You're as smooth. You're as sweet. Yo, welcome, 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 and a double Southern welcome. I like to, as much as I can, you know, with my comfort level, be as transparent <coughs> as I possibly can. And when I learn something, I learn. And if I could accomplish something, I like to share. And if you're a writer, I, I thank you, you know. Um, and if you're new here, you're just going to get a trip down my thought tube because this is what I want to do today. <laughs> uh, I got played for a fool. Yeah. Nashville, Tennessee made me look like an idiot. For years and years and years and years, my spouse, my wife, wanted to go to Nashville. And I'm a West Coast, California cat. Like, when we go on vacation, it's like Hawaii, 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 maybe San Diego, San Francisco, New York, Hawaii, 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 Hawaii. Like, it's only five hours away so if we get free time which I really do that I like to go to the islands and just chill the out you know what I'm saying my wife for I don't know 20 years 10 years 15 years has always wanted to go to Nashville Tennessee the reason why she is a country music person full in country music I mean my origins are hip-hop obviously if you probably noticed but I mean my father was a rock and roll head and my mom was a soul head so I mean, I'm well versed in my later years. I've been been able to dip my feet into different pools of music. Like I can find appreciation in the simplest, the most depth, the instrumentals. I, I can find it if I really want to. I wanted to plan a trip for the wife, but I didn't want to tell her nothing. So what I did was, oh, and your boy doesn't plan nothing. I'm usually the one that just says, what time do I show up? I show up and then we go. I don't plan Jack. Like the other half of the house plans that. This time I was like, look, pack your bags for hot and cold. We're going somewhere. And didn't say where we're going. I didn't say who we're going with. I didn't say what part of the United States it was. I didn't tell her, obviously that's what I said, pack hot and cold. I didn't tell her what type of weather. Cause if I would have said hot and tropical, she would have known we're going to Hawaii. But your boy put some effort and booked to Nashville, Tennessee. I know nothing about Nashville, Tennessee. So it was kind of like a nice game to make me do research. Like I had to get knee deep into it. Like, where are we gonna eat? Where are we gonna stay? Is it gonna be busy? Is it gonna be an artsy place? Are there plenty of restaurants? Am I gonna do a hotel? And so I ended up booking like this loft at the top of, I stayed in the gulch, like artsy kind of, uh, let's say restaurants, coffee shops, walking, shopping. There's an Urban Outfitters right down below where I was at, if that puts anything. It was nice to go to a place where I did not know jack shit. It was presence of new and exploration that like put the light bulbs in, in my head. Like I, I, I let go all my country bumpkin, cowboy freaking stereotypes. And I was like, look, just do this place. Nashville smacked me upside the head with surprise, delight, welcomeness, and 
soul. Like I spend my time looking through food spots and I'm a freaking coffee snob. And to be honest, per square mile, Nashville kicked Los Angeles' ass on type of coffee shops. I'm talking about not, not just espresso, Starbucks. I'm talking about like privately owned pour overs, just roasted beans three weeks ago type of swag. And can't say I don't like country music. Let's just say I have not been exposed, you know? And if you know the roots of country, folk music, bluegrass, blues, they're all cousins of cousins of cousins. Now, the only country person that I've ever Hold on, why am I even doing this video in this shirt? Okay, so now, yeah, it's better. The only country person I know would be the infamous Johnny Cash. Tennessee whiskey because of my sister, D, because she sings that with the most soul I've ever known anybody to sing it with. I know. I've got friends in low places, and that's just because of white guys in the Marine Corps that kicked it down to me. And then, what's the other one? Family tradition. That's my whole extent of country music. So I was like a fish out of water, but not a fish out of water that was gonna die. Like a fish out of water is like, dang, it smells good out here too, type of thing. I don't know. I fought resistance for many, many years to country, to going to the South, and I got played for a fool. Like the South grabbed me. I don't know. I, I've been talking about them for a week. They grabbed me. They, they, first of all, they like to talk a lot and not just BS talk. I'm talking about like, they like to get in a conversation, which reminds me of somebody I know. They love the military. They love to eat and they love music. I am a LA, LA cat. Okay. Like I'm Raider, Laker, Dodger, Trojan. I don't wear any other stuff. I'm like, nah. I felt so damn good when I was in Nashville and they brought me in so deep. And thanks to my brother, Eric, for giving me tips on where to get hot chicken. <laughs> Cause that's what you gotta do is get hot chicken. You better recognize. Anyways, I, I bought a Vanderbilt hoodie to wear in LA. That's how much I felt this place. Like I don't buy those generic, oh, let's go to the freaking you know, where you go to the tourist place and buy like Nashville. No, I went straight to the university bookstore, walked in, it's like, I want that hoodie. It goes to a lesson I guess I want to learn, give to you guys that resistance to do something or you have to find out what's causing you and the unknown may just be the resistance. The, uh, being not, uh, not being familiar with the situation may be pushing you away from actually experiencing something that is amazing. I was asked if I'd ever go back to Nashville and I'm like, you're damn right because I don't know I feel like I could be put anywhere if I'm not working I think I could have fun in a cardboard box if I'm given music food and a pen and paper if you guys get a chance even if you're broke man maybe you don't have money to travel somewhere but go to a city you knew nothing about research what it has to offer research what it has to offer and just don't be a Daniel and indulge whatever it has yeah that's my slap in the face that I want to share with you guys. Don't be stubborn. Don't be too freaking cool to travel to a different city or try something new that you never would freaking do. You might just like it. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Yeet. Nah, I don't think so. You're nothing to me now. You're not a brother. You're not a friend. I don't want to know you or what you do.